in these words I worship you Holy Ghost only is wealth beyond belief the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstruck. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. John chapter 3 and verse 11. Verily, verily, I say unto you, we speak that we do know and testify that we have seen verse 12 if I have told you of earthly things and you believe not how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things now some people need to go on but not everyone will you understand that right mm -hmm. for whatever reason not everyone will but some must did you hear that yes. some must go on say some must, some must. Go, on. go on which means they have to receive and believe something say believe something, believe something. that other people aren't believing right. and other people aren't receiving we're testifying of things that we know and there is so much more do you know that I tell you we were raised in churches where it was pretty much it when you got saved and you were basically just waiting to die and go to heaven and then we got into some other churches and and the whole pinnacle there was to receive the Holy Ghost and begin speaking with other tongues mm -hmm. the reality is that's just the very beginning of things change upon change upon glory upon glory is waiting for you but you have to go on to them if you stay where you're at you miss everything there's so much more and I have way more to give to you but you have to have ears to hear and be willing to go on and lots of times being willing to go on means you have to let go of some of the things that you thought you knew yeah. I live in a room of Holy Ghost worship most people are what I would call pre worshipers meaning they've not yet seen the truth the spirit of truth who is the spirit of truth Jesus again here John chapter 14 and verse 16 I will pray the Father and he will give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever he's a person verse 17 even the spirit of truth so the Holy Ghost is the comforter he is a he he has come into the earth and he is the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it sees him not neither knows him but you will know him say I will know him, I will know him. and you can know him in a greater and greater capacity right yeah. he is God he's literally God and he's the only part of the Godhead who's in the earth today and if he is God is he God yes. Yes, he should is. you worship God yes if you haven't come to this conclusion then you are still in pre-worship mode pre-worshipers have not yet begun to worship God mm -hmm. John chapter 4 and verse 24 God is a spirit who do you suppose that is God the Spirit and they that worship 
him God the Spirit must worship him say must worship must worship I must I must go on to the worship of the Holy Ghost must worship him in spirit and in truth are you here yes. I live in this room of Holy Ghost worship and like I said most people are still what I would classify as pre worshipers they've not yet come to know the spirit of truth mm -hmm. I know what it's like I was there all the way up until I started worshiping the Holy Ghost does this make sense to you I was a pre worshiper until I began to worship the Holy Ghost in spirit and truth yeah. is this fun yet so I know what I'm talking about I was on the other side of this and now I'm on this side and I'm telling you there's so much more over here mm -hmm. I was there for years and years but an angel visited me and disrupted say disrupted, disrupted. my entire life and thinking he said use these words I worship you Holy Ghost use those words words that were not heard in any of the circles are you here mm -hmm. any of the circles that I was in before for years and years and years no one used those words but he told me use those words I worship you Holy Ghost yeah but nobody does that tell me about it they are also not in this room guaranteed you can't get in here without worshiping the Holy Ghost in fact that same angel told me he said I don't have anything to do with those people who don't worship him which also means he has a lot to do with people who do that's you but in these words the use of these words is a whole new society please listen in the use of these words is a whole new society a new class of being a superior life say a superior, superior. Life. life in the use of these words often we'll say things like in the world but not of the world superior use of these words gives you access Matthew chapter 4 verse 10 mm -hmm. it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve is that in your Bible mm -hmm. you're supposed to worship the Lord your God and him only shalt thou serve get that straight and if you do that then verse 11 waits for you then the devil leaves and behold angels came and ministered unto him angels that would have nothing to do with people who didn't worship the Lord their God and him only serve worshiping the Lord your God the Holy Ghost God in the earth today gives you access to this place where devils depart because they can't go in there and angels come and minister to you you remember this I preached on it whole messages and here we have that strange word only it's right there you see it him only is it in your Bible yes, it is. him only thou shalt worship him only is that there mm -hmm. thou shalt worship the Lord your God and him only shalt thou serve I worship you Holy Ghost only then and then only do the angels come and minister to you they'll start listening to you and watching you well in this room of Holy Ghost worship you understand that language right in this room of Holy Ghost worship 
god gives you things god gives you power to get wealth say god gives me, god gives me power, power to get wealth, to get wealth. A single drop of power to get wealth that comes to you from being in this room is life-changing wherever you're at right now in your life a single drop of God's power to get wealth is life-changing in these words I worship you Holy Ghost only is wealth beyond belief beyond belief yes beyond belief you know what's beyond belief is experience you experience it have you ever heard of this i just experienced it and i still don't believe it you went beyond the belief to experience say i go beyond, I go beyond belief, belief to experience. experience this is where we're going today is this okay beyond belief isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8 for my thoughts are not your thoughts isn't that amazing hmm. my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways saith the Lord so in this room you're gonna have different thoughts in different ways verse 10 for as the rain comes down and snow from heaven and returns not thither mm -hmm. but watereth the earth and makes it say makes it, it makes it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater verse 11 so shall my word be whose word his word so shall his word be that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return to me void and it shall accomplish in the thing whereunto i sent it what accomplishes the thing the word how does he send his word by saying it so the spoken word shall accomplish that which he pleases and prosper in the thing whereunto he said it that's higher than your thoughts that's higher than your faith that is an experience beyond belief I call this the experience economy it exists there are you here yeah. uh, I want to shake something it exists there beyond your belief where do you think we're going there Matthew 4 4 says man shall not live by bread alone right living by bread alone is your economy is your socio-economic existence you're living by your means your bread right man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of god what does that mean out of the mouth means to say it man shall live by every spoken word of god or a better way to say it man shall live by speaking the word of god which takes him beyond that socio-economic place that he was before am i getting this across yeah. i think i am you live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth the spoken word say the spoken word. spoken word the spoken word takes you beyond your regular experience you must experience this takes beyond belief is an experience therefore you must go to the experience say i must go to the experience experiencing what the spoken word of god will bring and produce in your life the only reason you don't believe in saying god's word 
is you've never experienced the effects thereof once you've experienced the effects thereof you realize it's beyond your belief you've entered into an experience economy repeated confession of the word of god out your mouth will cause you to move beyond you say move beyond, move beyond. Me. me it's beyond your belief you enter into his belief because you're entering into his faith his word spoken repeated confession of a scripture i'm telling you jesus told people of things that he'd experienced and he knew i am telling you of things i've experienced and i know repeated confession of a scripture specifically the promises will take you beyond where you are into the thing said you move out beyond you in fact it leaves you you realize that thing you said you've been saying it you've been saying it my god supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by christ jesus you keep saying it over and over again my god supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by christ jesus eventually it moves out beyond you and you go where'd you go where did it go to that it starts to bring that thing to pass it went out and did it it goes beyond it goes out beyond your faith because it's God's faith and again you must experience this you must experience this it's an experience that you must have when you enter into it you enter into what I call the experience economy it's different it breaks the socioeconomic barrier say it breaks, it breaks. the socio economic barrier. barrier remember jesus said matthew 4 4 man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth using the words god gives me power to get wealth you're saying those words god gives me power to get wealth god gives me power to get wealth it breaks the socioeconomic barrier a barrier that's been put up against you a hindrance a threshold set that says you can go this far and no farther whether that's by your parents or by your education or by whatever the government's saying or whether the economy is saying that you can't go any farther than that god's word in your mouth breaks that barrier are you getting this yeah. it takes you beyond it to where you experience something that everyone else said you couldn't experience second corinthians 10 verse 4 says tearing down of strongholds his word in my mouth breaks all barriers say his word, his word. in my mouth, in my mouth. Breaks, breaks all barriers and this is how you walk with god psalms 112 verse 3 wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever these words on your lips break the housing market disrupts the housing market god's power to get wealth in your mouth disrupts the banking system listen you have to break it you must break it and then it breaks and you know when it breaks because you know these things others don't know it you do 
in this room of worshiping the Holy Ghost I am given a new manifestation of the Spirit and it's required of you to be in this society that I'm speaking about the new society is here Matthew chapter 17 verse 1 and after six days Jesus takes Peter James and John his brother and brings them up into a high mountain apart verse 2 and was transfigured before them and his face did shine as the Sun and his raiment was white as the light verse 3 and behold there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah talking with him verse 4 then Peter answered and said unto Jesus Lord it's good for us to be here if thou wilt let us make here three tabernacles one for thee one for Moses and one for Elijah verse 5 and while he yet spake behold a bright cloud overshadowed them and behold a voice out of the cloud which said this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased hear ye him was this real or imaginary real. it was real or did Peter James and John all have the same imaginary thing happen no. so if you're saying this is real and this actually happened then actually Moses was there and Elijah was there right and they saw him Jesus was talking to them Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1 wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses say cloud of witnesses, cloud of witnesses. those are actual people is that an imaginary cloud of witnesses no. real cloud real witnesses and here the Bible is again talking about a cloud Jesus entered into the cloud and there were people here's a cloud and there are people Revelation chapter uh, 1 verse 7 says Jesus will return with clouds it says behold he comes with clouds and of course that's another message entirely but using the words listen using the words I worship you Holy Ghost only will take you there it's a real place with real things will take you there and back if you can receive it well I go here worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and speaking in agreement with his words I break the socio-economic barriers I am part of this society not imaginary I break every socio-economic barrier and live a life beyond belief the experience economy Holy Ghost I thank you that you've brought people into this place this evening and as they begin worshiping you and knowing you as God things begin to change slowly at first but then quickly beyond belief to a place where they experience the great things that you have for them in the earth and we worship you and we give you all the glory and praise in Jesus name Amen, amen. If you have a tithe or an offering, hold it in your hand. Say this after me. Holy Ghost, I worship you. I thank you that as I worship you and as I give, the economic barriers are broken for me. And I enter into a greater space. In Jesus' name, amen. The Father is in heaven. Right hand, Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today.